Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, if you're dealing with a cancer, this is going to be your love reading. Let's hop right into it and get their emotions. All right, we have self-confidence. We have trust. We have harmony. And we have fulfillment. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Pisces and Cancer. What is going on up in here? Okay, so we start off with self-confidence here. And it looks like you give this person the motivation, right? It's like um, it's like a lot of motivation. They confident to have you, they proud of you, they confident in this relationship, they confident in themselves, okay? And that's Virgo energy. And then we have trust, Pisces. You and this person, Libra energy, okay? You and this person, it's like y'all balance each other out. It's like y'all complete each other here. Y'all trust each other. Y'all share uh, everything together, right? And then we have harmony. I'm not sure what energy that is. But we have harmony. Oh, Sagittarius. We have harmony here, Pisces. And it's like... It's like the biggest fulfillment. It, it just feels like everything is going great, right? There's no drama. There's no beef. We, It's working out. But when I look at this illustration and I see this male figure through the mirror, I mean, he looks exhausted. He looks like he just had the workout of his life, right? He looks exhausted, right? You drain him. You drain him. I mean, you leave no room for nobody else to want to do nothing to your person, right? And then we have fulfillment here, Pisces and Cancer. And it looks like some form of ritual, right? A, a, a virginity breaking, maybe. Maybe this person took your virginity here. But overall, I mean, you guys excite each other and, and y'all all in tune with each other, right? It's a lot of passion inside of this connection. It's a lot of love. All right. So let's see this self-confidence, right? So why is this, uh, what, what, what's so, what, what is the confidence, right? Where's this confidence coming from? Okay. And it's the death card, right? It's, it's a transformation that happened when y'all, uh, got together. It was some form of rebirth here infinity sign this is something that probably was divinely guided towards you here this is like great chemistry a good match right confident in this relationship right and we also have the three of wands here and it's like with this three of wands, I, I see the surfboard, right? So it's like it's like y'all be floating on air. Y'all be riding the waves together, right? It's like there's no limits to how far y'all can go when y'all work together, right? So that's where this confidence is coming from. Everything is just peachy right now. Everything is just peachy. Whoa, that came out fast and hard. And it's the queen of wands. This person think you so sexy, Pisces and Cancer, y'all just adore each other. Y'all put in that work with each other. Like as far as getting the job done, persevering, uh, facing challenges, overcoming them, right? Y'all put in hard work. You know, it ain't easy having a relationship that seems to be so good. You know, um, it comes with a lot. It don't just end up that way. Work has to get put into it. So with this Queen of Wands, I just feel like, um, your person is just loving all over you. They feel like you're the most beautiful thing in the world inside and out. They very passionate about you and they're very confident because this queen of wands also speaks of confidence, right? They're very confident in this connection, right? And, and how they view it with the three of wands is like, there's no limit to how far we can go together, right? I trust you here. So Pisces and Cancer, y'all trust each other here. And I feel like y'all share everything together here. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. Y'all got a real solid bond, right? Y'all strong in what y'all believe. Y'all strong in this love. This shit right here is real, right? Pisces and Cancer, it's real with y'all. Y'all stable in y'all connection. Y'all trust each other. Y'all love on each other here. 
We have the empress. Y'all nurture each other, take care of each other. It's like an equal balance of give and take inside of this connection. And and the and the the possibilities never end. Somebody may be pregnant or expecting a child or planning a pregnancy. Let's see what else comes with the trust card here. And we have the six of swords, right? And it's like the squeakiest clean relationship I ever encountered so far, right? It feels like everything is moving the way it's supposed to be. Everybody is at peace with what's happening and they're being guided. Look, it's like the messengers, the birds are pulling this sailboat, right? And it's like, this is the divine, right? That y'all must be spiritual people, maybe. Y'all um, have a spirituality or religion or something, right? And y'all, that y'all strongly stick to and y'all put that first, put God first. You know what I'm saying? And and peace is upon y'all. Right now, everything's growing, going great. There's no interference and y'all just moving forward in the most abundant way. It's like smooth sailing. That's why I saw this... Uh, this uh dang the surfboard right and it was it's like um we ride the waves together right and um swerving on that wood wood over here with fulfillment we're gonna take this little uh three of wands swerving on that wood wood this person probably took your virginity like i uh mentioned okay so pisces let's hop over here to harmony what feels so good about this relationship what feels so good about it and it's like the four of cups. And, and, and it's like sometimes we do. We have too much each other. Sometimes I could get bored with you. You know, but that's what I love about you. You know how to give me my space. And when you're giving me my space, I just be so bored and lonely without you. I don't know what to do with myself when you're not around. I don't even know why I be asking for space. Because I know I really don't want it. Right? But I got to have it. So it's like with this four of cups, what brings this relationship to life is that you all know when it's time to like ease up and stop hovering over each other. Y'all know how to give each other y'all space. And when you're out of each other's space, you just don't know what to do with yourselves because you're so used to being in each other's energy and with each other every single day of the week, almost every moment. Right. So let's see what else brings harmony to this connection here. And we have justice here. Right. Y'all make sure y'all keep a real good uh, communication here. Um, I feel like it's, it's, it's honest and it's balanced, right? Honesty is the best policy. And I feel like both of you all are living in y'all truth. Y'all not putting on a facade. Y'all not uh, faking the funk. You know, y'all really sit down and conversate with each other and have intimate conversations about real serious topics and everything that y'all go through together, it just kind of flows. It keep y'all afloat here with justice. Everything is balanced out, right? Right? A great karmic cycle here. Let's see what else comes with harmony. And it's the queen of swords in reverse. You guys got a lot of respect for each other on how y'all speak to each other. That's very important in a relationship, Pisces and Cancer. When you, when you, the way you talk to a person make a big difference on, on what they feel. And by both of y'all being emotional and caring and 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 empathetic, I feel like um, if there there if there are arguments, they're not harsh arguments. We don't say things to each other to hurt each other, right? I ain't trying to uh, kick you while you down. I ain't trying to bring up none of those intimate conversations we talked about in those deep, serious conversations. I ain't trying to bring up none of the things that hurt you, right? It's like we got a, 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 a respect thing going on, you know, that's unspoken. We don't have to speak on it. When we get angry at each other, we watch our tongue, okay? And that's great energy. So let's go over here to fulfillment, Pisces and Cancer. Feel like this person may have taken your virginity here. We got the King of Cups. We got the King of Cups. We're going to use this as uh, Cancer energy. Pisces and Cancer, the fish in there. So it, it, take it how it resonates. The masculine energy, right? So it's like this person is, is very in tune with their emotions and how they feel about you. They trust you 
to protect their emotions. That's what I said. Like they, they can trust that you, you won't get mad enough to go blabber out all their secrets or go tell your friends, your sister or your mother, you know, uh, intimate things that they spoke to you about. And I feel like, uh, a time has come up where you had the opportunity to say something and you never did. And that's what built this trust, right? That's, that's, this person trusts you. Maybe it was, um, maybe you trusted this person to take your virginity. I don't know. Maybe it was love at first sight, right? But it's fulfilling. It's full of love. It's all wrapped around love and stability and fairness, right? It's it's the it's it's a divine presence inside of here. We're dealing with two spiritual people, two people who are in tune with their intuition, people who know how to give each other space. It's like like you you don't gotta tell me I need some space. I already know when you need it. I already distance myself a little bit to make sure you get your one on one time with you. Right. And this is how much I know you. This is how much I love you. This is how much I respect you. I respect your boundaries. We got healthy boundaries set in place. Pisces and Cancer. So let's see what else brings this connection so much fulfillment. We got the devil. <laughs> you guys, it looks like this devil is is about to drown in the water. Right. It's, it's like occulted over here, right? It's like y'all perform rituals on each other and may not even know it. Like the, I don't know if the spirit of Jezebel on both of y'all or whatever, but there is a lot of love and a lot of obsession, a lot of lust, a lot of desire, a lot of come with me, drown with me. It's like both of y'all drown in y'all emotions and sometimes that could be toxic. And that's why it's important to have those healthy boundaries set within the relationship. Because y'all know when it's beginning to pour out too much of their cups into each other, right? So this devil energy is here is as like a caution, right? Like a caution. You know, be careful with all these emotions. It could get deep, okay? So the next card that came out is the eight of cups, right? When I'm walking away from you, I'm never really unfulfilled, right? When I'm giving you your space, that's when this person feels a little unfulfilled, but they leave you like something of theirs, something you could smell, something you could touch, something like when you look on your dresser or look through the mirror, they got a little note sitting up there somewhere on your favorite perfume or cologne or something. And it's like that fire, it, it lights in you for real. It's like when I'm a, when I'm away, I'm never really away. So this, so I feel like in this connection, it hurts both of you a little bit to distance yourself from each other a little bit. Cause you know, you have to with this devil and that's what's so fulfilling about the relationship is that y'all know when and how to give each other space and everything stems from love and emotional maturity. So let's see what's crossing all this energy Pisces and cancer. And it's the page of Pentacles. Whoa, that almost fell out. And it's the page of Pentacles. And look how this page of Pentacles is balanced. It's like they're uh, doing groundwork or something, right? And it's 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 like uh, being responsible for each other, being responsible for yourselves individually, right? Not making up excuses, just taking care of business. Just trying to stay stable, trying to stay balanced, trying to stay grounded, right? Making it work. So that's the energy, Pisces of Cancer. I hope it resonated. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see what chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we could say to ourselves each and every day. Okay, we have the third chakra, and it's the solar plexus chakra. And this one is relevant to self confidence. I trust myself fully. I will not allow fear or doubt to hold me back from doing what I am here to do. I have confidence, belief, and convictions in my abilities and goals. I welcome questioning by others as this gives me a chance to clarify my truth, ideas, and philosophies. 
I trust in a higher power and I am open to new challenges. So self-confidence is our positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. Pisces and Cancer, this is all I have. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.